enough talk here interviewing Candy Baby. You know, shit, go ahead, you know, introduce, even though I said that. <laughs> hey, you know what's going down? It's Candy Baby. That's the ad name. It's Candy Baby on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me. Yeah. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I stay ripping. You did. You already know what it is. Like, if y'all know, now you know. You finna hear about me real soon. Okay, so... Let them know growing up in Houston, you know, growing up, like, where, where you from in Houston? From Mo City, Texas. Okay. You already know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> you did? <laughs> Let them know growing up in, in Mo City. Um, my granny raised me, so I didn't really grow up, like, in the streets okay, doing okay. a lot, you know what I'm saying? I really just was just staying at home, just... School days type shit. Yeah, just... I would have to like say I'm going over a friend's house to, okay. to go somewhere. Like I couldn't even just go out. Like I wouldn't even go to my friend's house a lot because she didn't even think I had friends. She was okay. like, "Them ain't your friends." Like, okay. and growing up, I should listen. You know what I'm saying? Like you really think you should. You really think you know what's going on when yeah. you're little. You don't. And yeah. then when your parents really telling you like, "Them ain't your friends." You really must, you really need to listen because they know for you know like, shit be kind of sad. But like. I just like I'll be at home just listening to music all the time. Just yeah. So that's when like when you started tampering with music, like you know, how old was you around that time or when? I because like my friends always be like, you just rapping, you always freestyling, you always like doing different types of shit, like yeah. I say, great. Like, I'm trying to. I'm, really, I'm trying to think like, cause like I would. Well, okay. Let me just put it here. You know what I'm saying? I'll just put it there. Like I've been doing music all my life. Really, honestly, like yeah. I in church. My granny put me in the choir. Like so, like as a little girl, like I want to say probably like seven years old. Okay. Been singing, been like harmonizing, been doing types of stuff. We would go to like different like choir events, like. I was in the drama ministry acting, like, okay. that's where I know how to bring personality and, like, do different stuff and, like, mesh the personality in with the music and stuff like that, like, I know how to, I can't really sing like that, but I know how to hold a note, you know what I'm saying, like, I know how to harmonize, like, crescendo, do, like, you know what I'm saying, okay. like, different, like, tones and stuff like that, like, that's what made me, like, have a good ear for music and know what sound good and what don't sound good, know what, like, People like to hear what people don't like to hear. Like, that's why I wouldn't, like, when I even started doing music, like, officially, I didn't even just drop my music off, like, as soon as I started doing it. Like, okay. I just, I was just trying to feel it. I was just trying to yeah. feel the vibe, like, of everything. Just get in tune and comfortable with, like, who I'm trying to become as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah, seven years old and being musical activities that. What planted the musical shit in you? He put out your apple juice, so. Cause he ain't wanna get it. Who was your influencers for you to start rapping? Cause you know, even though you say church is where like started tampering with music, but who, what influenced you to become a rapper? Or who was the influencer? Like, I really want to say, like, Lauren Hill so bad because, like, I always, like, my granny would have me watching, like, these soul food mm -hmm. music, like, musical kind of, like, movies and stuff like that. And I would always watch stuff with her and she's singing, like, beautiful on Sister Act, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, when I really, like, got to do my research on her, I'm like, oh, this she really, like, be doing all sorts of stuff. Like, she rap, like, she really, like, put her whole soul into the music, like, Put her whole everything into it, like, and like you can really feel who she is through her music and understand like where she coming from as a woman, mm -hmm. as a black woman, like, and that's like a real good like, I want to say, um, I guess inspiration, yeah, that I have from her and then like Erica Badu, like, I love like how she just like gives us her whole world, like she just brings us like really into like what she does as an artist like is is very beautiful like watching them just be like so organic and like raw mm -hmm. like that's how i want to be i want to be organic and raw like i just want people to like feel who i am i don't want them to just think like 
oh, she thinks she all that. So, Cause I don't think I'm all that. I think I'm me and that's all I can be is me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shit, like how many singles? When you, when you drop your first single, first song uh, that first you uploaded. My single was Lil Boy. We put that, I think we put it on, we put it on SoundCloud and YouTube. Yeah, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. So like SoundCloud's kind of like hot, like two years ago when we was like starting everything. So we put a little boy out. Everybody was fucking with it. Everybody was like calling me to do shows. Like, what was my first show? My, my actually my cousin put me in my first show. Um, his name is Devin. I don't know if you heard of Slight Crew. Mm, nah. They're like Houston rappers. Y'all listen to their okay. like a group. They put me, they did like an all women like rap show. So like they okay. put me in there and that was like my first show. And then like, I hadn't even had the songs dropped out yet, but I just had Lil Boy. So like I did Lil Boy and this song called Faze Me. And one more song. I can't really remember what the song was, but like that really like, kind of let me know like, okay, like people would be rapping yeah. with me. Cause like, Everybody kind of liked my shit, so I was like, okay, like they they fuck it with me. But Some like reactions from yeah. when that shit first started, first serious move. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody liked my music back then, like when I was starting out. But like dudes would tell me like they didn't really like relate to my music. So like as I was just working on my craft and trying to like get like an understanding of where I was trying to go mm -hmm. in my music life. I started trying to like work on making more relatable music, like like where men and women can like bob their heads to. Because when you listen like to music that women do, like most female rappers, they talking about their body, they yeah. you know what I'm saying, like trying to play a nigga, get money off nigga and stuff like that. Like you know what I'm saying, like I feel you. I have no problem with with people that do stuff like that. You know, women empowerment is everything to me. Like more power to all the women that do that type of stuff, and you can get money however way you can, but I have to get money. On my own, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't depend on somebody else to get no income off of. Cause what if that shit stop? Then what? Where are you gonna like? What are you gonna do? I'm trying to get my money and invest it in myself. I'm trying to invest that shit into some shit that I know is gonna make some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's me. Cause I'm gonna flip that shit. I'm make that shit times three. You did like <laughs> for real? Like I can't be sitting up here waiting up, looking at my phone, wondering who the next person gonna give me some money. I need to get yeah. myself some money. I need to make sure that I'm gonna go get that shit. Cause I'm my, I'm the only person I can depend on. You know what I'm saying? You can't depend on nobody else. Okay. Cause they depend on they self, you know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about you unless you paying them, you know what I'm saying? And what I'm paying you for, you know what I'm saying? That shit don't make no damn sense. Like, I ain't talking down to nobody. I'm just saying how I feel, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, so, shit. <laughs> like, your first tape. Yeah. How many tapes you got out so far? I just have one. That's just one from yeah. back then, from the little boy, mm -hmm. the single. Like, so like, yeah. So after I dropped little boy. That was like one single, and then I dropped another single on SoundCloud called. It was it's the uh and that's when Gucci Gang came out. So like I dropped like a um remix on SoundCloud. Damn, I forgot. Well, it's a few names I saw from the I'm whole tape on YouTube. Though. I'm trying to remember the name. It was I think it we wasn't even on YouTube. It was just on SoundCloud. Oh, okay. And um, excuse me. Um, so then I dropped that. And then like I did like a couple of features. And yeah, I saw stuff. you see. I saw you did one with uh, Daisy. Yeah, I did. Um, that was um on the tape yeah. actually on Candyland, and it was called Roll It Up. I think I can't remember so long ago. Um, but yeah, like so I did the features, and then like we was all just working, like me, Ty, Daisy was in the studio, yeah. like every day, just going hard, just going hard in the paint. And then I was just like, y'all, I want to drop. Candyland, like I really okay. want to like give them just a little part of me so they can see like that I'm working and I'm trying, like I'm not just out here just like you know what I'm saying, just trying to just make a couple songs and just think this shit is just cool. No, I feel like this shit is part of my life. Like this is really who I am. Like I'm really somebody who can like be successful yeah. off of their voice. Like that's really like I can't have no regular job. Like. I feel you know. 
This your old passion. This my job, like like Carisha said, I don't work jobs, bitch. I have that bitch I am a job. Like for real. Like this shit is the like for real 24-7 thing. Like then like after I drive Candyland. Then you start working on visuals? Like how many visuals you got I so did, far? Okay, so I did a visual to a little boy, like right before I drive Candyland. And then like I just like and then like I was just getting like the little juice from that. Mm -hmm. And then I dropped um Candyland. And then I did a video to phase me on Candyland, but like it was cool, but I deleted it off YouTube because I feel like I can do better visuals to those songs. Those songs are still good. Yeah. But like I just been working on my craft. Like it's just like big gaps and stuff like that because like I've been really trying to work on my craft and try to like wait before I give me totally like but I am working on dropping an EP this year okay like so coming. that's why I dropped sauce candy in February to give y'all a little taste of the new me yeah you know what I'm saying that's like, your latest single mm -hmm, that's my latest single and I'm working on that I'm working on the visual for that I'm working on dropping more visuals before I even drop my EP and what, when I drop my EP, I'm going to drop another visual. Sauce Candy is coming before that visual. So I'm going to be giving out dates and okay. everything on those type of events. And I'm going to have a um, listening party before I drop the EP. So like, I just okay. got like a whole bunch of stuff like in the works right now. Okay. Just like cooking up, just like simmering up right now. <laughs> So like, okay. oh, I forgot that I put the damn blend out, but um. <laughs> you good, so shit, like, <laughs> people you worked with, like, I know you said Daisy, some other people in performing type shit, but like, producers-wise, or, you know. Uh, I worked with the whole, like, 9-5 production. Okay. That's um, Ty Sinatra's production company. He, um, he go by TZ, if you know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really just, like, my main producer engineer yeah. like because he really knows my voice he knows how to work my voice like okay. i would feel uncomfortable trying to work with some, like i don't mind working with other people but like it has to be somebody who's totally professional and like has work ethic as him because like he really like works with different artists and like it's all he's always improving like too even though he's very good he's yeah. always improving and wanting to learn more and do more and he wants to create a song and a vibe like that's the type of thing i want to i like to be on like i like to create vibes not just a song not just like do music i want to actually enter somebody into my world through my music yeah. Okay, okay, so she Like the whole 9-5 crew, they have, um, it's Ty, he got Leroy, he got Young Midas. Okay. Um, he got A-Roll, he got Michael in that hoe. Like, it's, and they're all from, like, different places, like, yeah. Philly, Houston, Virginia. Like, Ozone in that shit? Ozone, like, you know, but he, okay. you know, he rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ozone, like, he in the mix, he in 95 JBR, like, it's a whole okay, family okay. situation going on, like, we all in this bitch, like, shit, we've been, like, we, we been did days in the fucking studio, like, we eat, sleep, like, in the motherfucking studio sometimes, like, you got to, you got to, like, really, like, hustle, got to grind, you know what I'm saying? Really want this shit, like, for real, for real, real nine, five. Be, like, just talking about it, for real, like, Nine five, like it's a real <laughs> job, like for real, like. <laughs> okay, okay, so shit. Let's go to the Houston. Uh, there, y'all got the backwards. Little Texas questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, who your top five Texas favorites artists? It could be new, it could be old. <laughs> it's Texas, right? <Texas. laughs> I'll put that whole out. I don't need to um, Top five. They don't have to be like from best there. It could just be any five. I like Sauce Walker. Okay. He's, he's pretty fun. Sauce Twins. They really some fun, fun ass niggas. Say it again, say it again. Sauce Walker. Why are you saying that? That's his name. Sauce Walker. Sauce, Sauce Walker. Yeah, Sauce Walker. <laughs> South Walker. <laughs> um, I would love to do like some music with him, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, in the upcoming future, you know, work on some projects, something like that. Like, but. You got South Walker? I'm trying to think, like. 
My friend, um, his name is Karma, Playboy Karma on Instagram. He can really sing, like, really, really sing. Like, he's more like with the um, pop and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And that shit just, that shit sound good. Like, okay, you got him. Weekend, you said the like, name you know, is Playboy, Playboy Karma. Karma. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think because I really like. Don't be listening. Um, Ken the Man. Okay. She's really bomb. I was actually, um, I had the chance to actually go and partake and see her in the studio. And it was, it's pretty cool. She's a real cool girl. Cool vibe. We didn't really get a chance to just like conversate. Yeah. Because she was working, you know what I'm saying? And she was a real job. Like, for real, for Not real. For you gotta really be in the zone. People you know be fucking with her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, be paying attention. When you're in the studio, it's a whole other world. You can't just be trying to stop and talk. Because, like, that's how I be in the zone. Like, I be forgetting to talk to my friends when I invite them to the studio. Like, so, like, she a real cool girl. Um, yeah, like Kenny Man, three. Um, who are some other good Houston artists? <laughs> Like some other females. <laughs> um, Kelly Ash. The only Kelly Ash. The only Kelly Ash on okay. Instagram. She is fire. She's from LA. She okay. is fucking fire. Like women empowerment. We come to fuck up. Like for I was just I have music video. Like what was that? Like last week. Just yeah, last week. It was real good. And then we got one more. Um. Or OG, you could say. Or who you probably with old school. Who was an old school Houston artist? Or Texas, like, nigga be from yeah. Dallas. I was just about to say my nigga Zero, like, no dead end. Like, I be really listening to that nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I. <laughs> Can't leave drink alone. <laughs> okay. Gotta have like, the road. Really for real, being that, from our city, you gotta have the road. Yeah, like, slow out of bang and all in my Like, don't get me started. Like, that bitch, hey, turn that hoe. Oh, come on, I'm reciting that hoe. I don't give a fuck. We having a conversation. My nigga, shut up. <laughs> Zero on. Like, <laughs> most city dying is on. My nigga, do you, not know, do you know this song? Like, nah, for real. do you know this for song? Because you need to know this fucking song. Like, Okay, that's done. You said uh, Sauce Walker, Kendall Man, Playboy, Playboy Karma. Karma, and then the, the only Cali Ash. Okay, Cali Ash. Then shit. Okay, we got another Texas question. Would you love? Would you hate about Texas? Um, I love that Texas. Like, you can network in here. You can mm -hmm. get like you know some good work done. You can really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the beautiful sights. You can you can really get creative out here. You can really be creative. The thing that I hate about it is that like, it's people that are that will hate on you and will try to stop you from shining, literally. Yeah. Or I will try to like copy you, do anything they can to knock you off of your shit while you are doing nothing but just trying to flourish, like. I love everybody. I support everybody. I have mm -hmm. no problem supporting anybody. I don't even care if you're not supporting me. If I like your shit, I'm going to post your shit. I'm going to fuck with your shit. I'm gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, But people really, it's some people who really just go out their way to just try to hate on you. And that shit is like a real Houston thing. It's not even, yeah. it's like other people do it in other places and shit like that. But I've noticed out here, like, people really be on some like other Two shit. Two trip, two like, player. Like they be, they really try to play you. Like you could go to like the club and be like, not even the club. We could be in a party, right? Yeah. Be like, hey, tell DJ I rap. Um, you wanna play my song real quick? Nigga, I really just like dub the fuck out your ass, like in your goddamn face, and you be like, damn, like you ain't even hear my shit. You ain't even know if my shit was good, my nigga. Like that's what you here for. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> That's what we here for. Why we can't, like, you know what I'm saying, help each other get on? We can't, hey, this, this girl said she rap, you know what I'm saying? We all gonna listen to her shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna just put no weak shit on my nigga. You don't even know, like, and then it's funny when, like, <laughs> don't get me started, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I had to sit up straight, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, especially being a black female artist. Niggas really be trying to play you, bro. Like you could re like really be in the studio 
about to make a damn song. Like, one time we was in the studio, for me, like, we asked my manager up in that hole, this, and like, we had Young Midas recording me, this nigga gonna walk in there and gonna talk to somebody that's talking about, um, when y'all studio session over, and like, we had like two more hours on the cool, and we, and Yasmin was like, eight o'clock, and like, I said eight two, and like, he just like, huh, we gonna studio over, and like, Midas was like, they told you, like, eight, like, we like, nigga, like, why you sitting up in here, like, coming in, like, why you busting up in my studio, sitting like, that shit rude, like, or I'll tell some dudes I rap, and they be like, you rap, like, ha ha, and then they'll hear my shit and be like, oh, you lie, like, yeah, my nigga, like, I ain't finna be on no, like, you know what I'm saying? I know, like, people, some people suck, you know what I'm saying? But, like, really, you can't underestimate everybody. Everybody got their own shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't just doubt somebody first before you hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't cool. Like, it just made me think people really just be dry hating on people all the fucking time. Like, you ain't got nothing else better in your, in your life to do but hate. Like, bitch, let me hear your shit. My nigga, like, is you good? Like, and then niggas are really getting intimidated. Because, like... I really be freestyling and stuff like that. Like, I just bust out and start freestyling anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. some niggas are like, get intimidated. Some niggas will try to out freestyle me. And I just be laughing because I be like, I do this shit for fun. And you trying to do this shit because you trying to, like, one up on me. Hey, man, this shit is. That's why I ask shit, people really? this. Everybody saying the same shit. That's why I ask these questions. The same question to everybody. Houston, stop hating. Like, <laughs> goddamn. We really, like, that's why we're drowning all the time. Because we drowning in hate. You hateful ass hoes. <laughs> Mind your fucking business. <laughs> oh, yeah, though. Like, so shit, you can give them your sites and where to find you, platforms, um, find the music, um, visuals, you know. Um, You can find me on Instagram. At East Candy Baby. That's on Twitter too. And you can find me on um, YouTube. You can just type in Candy Baby, Sauce Candy, Little Boy. All my music is like under that shit. It's okay. all in the um, 9 5 Productions um, YouTube. Yeah. And um, all my links are in my bio. Excuse me, like my booking emails in my bio and my music link to um, my new single Sauce Candy is in my bio. So you can just click on that, you can go to YouTube. It's on Apple Music, it's everywhere on all platforms. Okay. Hey man, y'all tune in. Upcoming, man. We're really not upcoming, been doing it two years. About to be three type shit. I already see the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all tune in, Candy Baby, man. You got the social sites, gave the. Platform, YouTube visuals, upcoming EP, upcoming visuals. Shit, man, that's enough talk for them boys. Down south, where I stay, switch for lane.